Hello and welcome to another update video about sand. Yeah, the sand chart is moving higher. It's now also today, yeah, has, has also started a bit of a pullback there. Um, it's not a particularly clear chart for me, I have to say. Yeah, not particularly clear, but I can justify that this is the development of a leading diagonal to the upside in the yellow count. There's precisely the scenario we discussed in the previous video. And in the previous video, I also shared with you that wave three in yellow should ideally reach the 75.8 cent level or maybe higher, but sort of as first ideal target, the 100 138% Fibonacci extension level. And that level was reached here at 75.8 cents. Um, it pushed a little higher, but not a sustained break above it. And as you know, this is the first ideal target, which was reached. Um, I think it actually reached a 1.5 extension there, which is in between. And it's now looking like, um, well, it's pulling back, but it's it doesn't look like a crash or anything at the moment. Um, instead, I've added a support zone earlier today for sand for this fourth wave pullback. And this wave for pullback, even though I'm not confident about the count, but still I give you my best assessment of the chart, doesn't mean I, um, I'm very unconfident about the structure on every chart. You know, some charts are just not particularly clear. But this one here, I mean, it's acceptable. What we're dealing with here, first of all, we can add a trend line to the chart. Yeah? Because if this is a diagonal, it might be an expanding diagonal pattern. So we had a wave one from the September lows, a wave one to the upside in three waves. We had a shallow wave two pullback. We had um, not a wave three because this is too short for a wave three, but it could have been the A wave of a third wave. Then the B wave pullback of the third wave, very important that the B wave is corrective and doesn't break below the beginning of the A wave. And then the C wave here, a questionable five wave move, but you can count that as a five wave move. And it reached basically the ideal target yeah, for wave three. And now we could be in wave four. Wave four should be, uh, should hold, well, should ideally hold 55.2 cents. That's the 50% retracement level. But in a diagonal, we can allow it to go slightly below that. That's why I added the 61.8 retracement level as well. But ideally, it's turning around in the orange box. Maybe it doesn't even reach the box, but it would be ideal for it to at least get down to 60, 60.7 cents. That's the next Fibonacci support level. And then 55.2 and 50.2 cents. But either way, as long as this range is holding, regardless of whether we touch it or not, regardless of that, yeah, as long as we're holding that one more high, in an ABC structure is reasonable yeah, as an expectation because you know the wave one was an ABC the wave um, three was an ABC actually just to add that here to the wave one as well a B C it's quite a clear ABC structure as clear as three wave movements can be um, then obviously let me change the wave degree here something is a bit off let me just do that yeah uh, and then obviously, yeah, as soon as the wave four is over, the wave five should unfold as an ABC structure. Next upside targets to watch are 86 cents. Oh yeah, let me just add the 1.786 extension level there as well. Normally we wanna add that as well as possible target for a um, for a fifth wave. That's at 94.1 cents. And the $1.05 level is a 200% extension. That is um, also a very common target for a fifth wave in such a diagonal pattern. So that means at the moment, all eyes need to be on the orange support region. All eyes need to be on that ascending trend line. A break below 55.2 cents would indicate that something more bearish is going on already because the wave four ideally doesn't break below that level. In this case, yeah, not below the 50% FIB level. Okay, if it does, we can still watch the golden ratio level, but then we will have broken out of the trend line anyway to the downside. And we might then test the red line, but that might be a different wave count then. Okay, so it will turn very unreliable below 50 cents and would require a reinterpretation. But then the price could still find support at this previous swing low. It would, however, indicate a lot of weakness. So and then as soon as wave five is complete, we can call a five wave pattern complete in what I would interpret as wave one. And the subsequent pullback would then be a wave two. That's my update about sand. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us in on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.